Hey everybody, Ken Surf's here. It's Wednesday and it's time for another shave. Wristwatch check, it's at lunchtime and I definitely need to shave so I'm gonna be trying one today. I do notice in the background here, oh, James Gardner got a little uh, crooked here. All right. All right, things move, right? Things move. All right, today I'm gonna to be using a razor that I've used in the past in two videos. However, it's the Blackland ERA razor. Currently sold out, but I do believe they're restocking this month. It, uh, I think it goes for $75. But what's nice is it has, you have 10 different blade, base plates to choose from. And this is the base plate that I've used. This is, uh, where are we? Number three. This is base plate number three, but it's the closed comb, and I've used this in two videos. I also have four, or do I have five? Four of the open comb uh, base plates that I have not tried. They're still sealed. Uh, according to their website, base plate number one and two are for the mild sensitive skin people. Four and five are the, for the guys who want the really close shave, and three is the optimal to go for. Well, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to step it up a little bit. I'm gonna go to base plate number four today. Not quite number five, but I'm gonna go with base plate open comb number four, and we're gonna see how this razor performs. I need uh, a shave, so hopefully it, it's gonna be a nice and close one. I'm gonna be using for the first time I've tried. Uh, it was a gift from my friend Mark. Mark sent me the Simpson Eagle the old school looking, uh, three in pure badger. So I'm gonna put this into the crystal skull. Very good. I'm gonna put this in, it doesn't smell like badger or wet animal, so I'm putting too much water. I like to have the bristles getting wet, but I don't like to have it overflowing. And for the soap, I was gonna use uh, Old Spice, but uh, my Old Spice is kind of iffy. And of course I don't have Old Spice shave soap. So I'm gonna go with the next best thing. From PAA, I'm gonna be using their Fresco, which is an homage to uh, Old Spice. And I think that's it today. All right, well, let me open up this base plate. It's always nice to take one of these razors that have all the multiple combos that you can come up with and try it out and find the one that's best fitted for you. Everybody's a little bit different. All right. So we'll take off that base plate. That was number three, solid safety bar. I'm going to get a, my favorite, you know, you know it. You watch the channel, you know it. Wilkinson Sword Gillette. They're, uh, I've had no trouble with them. I don't want to throw a feather blade into an open comb today. <laughs> Might end up getting cut. Might end up getting cut anyway. You never know, right? All right. If you haven't seen the ERA, uh, they're nice fit with like virtually no overhang. Locks into place pretty good. There we go. Ready to rock. All right. Let me set some of these items aside here. Get the fresco ready. The fresco is a hard soap, so I don't have to worry about bull lathering or anything today. You wet the face. All right. And we'll get the shave started. How have you guys been doing? Had a good week? Been binge watching? You know, it's been two years since this COVID thing started, and I got to go to... Uh, my, one of my good friends, uh, he was the best man at my wedding. And my good friend George retired after 25 years with a company or something. And I got to go to his retirement party at uh, an Italian restaurant with all people, 10 people, no masks. It was very weird to be out and about again. I mean, it's nice. It is nice to be out and about. But when you've been clamped down for two years and worried about everything, it's just weird, right? It's weird to you know, almost get back to normal. I shouldn't be complaining. It was just strange. I was sitting there with these 10 people in the restaurant looking around going, oh man, but I think as far as COVID's going, 
it's it's looking up in Southern California. I don't know how it is with you, but uh, that's all I'll say on that. It was just weird going to a restaurant again. That was my observation for the weekend. Oh, very nice. And this is the, uh, there we go. Fresco. All right. I gotta remember, one pass, two pass. I got talking last time and just totally screwed up, okay. Ooh, nice. Nice. Not as aggressive as an R41 feels to me. Got my little brush here to clean out the uh, clean out the uh, rakes. I'll call them the slots. Very smooth. And although, like I said, it said this razor was out of stock. Uh, but uh, they said they would be back in stock in March, and we are in March, so I imagine it's coming soon. Oh man, I feel it on my neck. I was reading the reviews uh, on some of the other channels on this razor, and a lot of people were saying they really liked the number five base plate. Uh, I don't know if you guys tried this razor with the different base plates. I'm not quite sure what your opinions are. But if you had this and... All those base plates, you're pretty well set for every blade combo you can think of. If you get nervous, you just bring the angle up and it doesn't cut. So you find that sweet spot, right? My son's back to work. He's not working from home anymore. And my daughter's working a couple of days a week in the office. So I'm getting uh, my desk area cleaned up a little bit better. So I will be able to do that unboxing and trying the uh, Gillette heated razor. I got that at Christmas, three months. I haven't even tried it yet. Man. All right. Very nice. Mm. My wife doesn't like Old Spice. Says it reminds her of her grandfather. Well, I'll be grandpa today, right? Back in the old days, you really only had a few choice of men's aftershave. If, you know, you weren't stepping it up to the high-end stuff. You had Old Spice, Brute. Uh, what are we at? English leather. Skin bracer. <laughs> All right, here we go. I remember this time. Hear the feedback? Here's an observation that I've made on an open comb. When you're doing the, your lower lip, avoid the ridge between your lip and your uh, face skin, because man, it can get in that slot and you can cut yourself. It's better to get it on the uh, 
on the downstroke or the upstroke. I found that I cut myself more that way. Uh, almost blew it again. Yeah, I don't rehearse these, right? These shaves, I don't have my notes up. I need like cross grain, uh, with the grain, cross the grain. <laughs> and then here against the grain, just the way I shave. You can sell a soap I put on a little dry down here. You can do oh wait. <laughs> you can do damage with a, an open comb. All right, forget it. Try it. We'll see what happens. All right. Let me rinse some of this off. I use cold water for my rinse. I find it tightens up the pores. It works for me. What works for me might not work for you. And vice versa. So that was the number four. Yeah, do you guys have any experience, like I said, with the, the other base plates on this, the, the open comb one through five, I guess it is? Or, well, I got four of them. I think they're, yeah, there's 10. Don't know which one I'm missing. All right. PAA. Oh, Home Alone. Nice. Yeah, which base plates do I have? So I'm missing one. I got two, three, four, and five. They come in a nice sleeve. So I'm missing open comb base plate number one. All right, but I tell you, that would have been too mild for me. If I'm going to use a mild shave, I'm just going to use a solid safety bar. For uh, open comb, I wanted a little more aggressive. So yeah, four or five for me, seems to be pretty good. Although I heard the go-to is uh, the three, but no complaints. All right, well, it's Wednesday. You're halfway there, my friends, almost the end of the week. I wanna thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your subscriptions. And uh, I'm trying to crank these out a little bit faster. I know it's been a week. It's one of those weekends. Don't wanna bring you down. Uh, funerals, and aunt had passed away, but uh, I didn't have any time. So now, hopefully, this week, everything's looking a little better. So we're getting more time to do things. So hopefully, I'm going to, I really want to try that heated Gillette Razor ASAP. I just need an area to unbox it. I don't want to unbox it on top of a pinball machine. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon. Stay safe.